Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn about mole concept. Welcome to the channel, Know Everything. The mole concept is an essential concept in chemistry that refers to the measurement of chemical substances in terms of their molecular or atomic weight. It is used to represent the amount of chemical substance and is based on Avogadro's number. What is Avogadro's number? Avogadro's number is 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23. So, what is the definition of mole concept? The mole, it is a unit of measurement that represents the amount of a substance containing as many elementary entities, for example, atoms, molecules, ions, or other particles, as there are atoms in 12 grams of pure carbon 12. This number of entities is called as Avogadro's number and is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23. Let's understand this small concept with the help of a figure. Here in left side we can see one mole of carbon which is equal to 12 grams which is the molecular mass of carbon atom. So, 1 mole of carbon is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms, which is Avogadro's number. On the other hand, if we see here, 1 mole of copper is available and its weight is 63.5 grams. It is also 1 mole, carbon is also 1 mole and their weights are different. It is 12 gram and it is 63.5 gram. But if we see the number of atoms in one mole of each carbon and copper is equal to 6.023 10 raised to power 23 atoms which is Avogadro's number. So what we understand with the help of this figure that one mole of any element whether it is carbon or copper weight can be different but number of atoms will be same. In place of copper, if we keep any other element, then weight will be different, but the number of atoms will remain same. So, this is the mole concept. Any element, one mole of any element will have these many atoms, which is Avogadro's number. And what is this Avogadro number? This is the number of atoms in one mole of carbon. So, this is the mole concept. The mole concept is based on Avogadro's number, which is the number of atoms or molecules in one mole of a substance, as we saw in figure. So, let's understand with the help of examples. Here, suppose we have one mole of oxygen. So, one mole of oxygen will have same Avogadro number as number of molecules. So, we can see here, one mole of O2 will be equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 molecules of oxygen gas. And similarly, if I take an example of water, one mole of water will be equal to same number of molecules of water which has one mole of oxygen. So, here we can see the entity is changing. First we have oxygen and second we have water. But number of molecules in one mole of oxygen or water are same which is Avogadro's number. So, this is the mole concept. So, using the mole concept, what we can do? We can convert between the mass of a substance and the number of moles. The molar mass of a substance is the mass of one mole of that substance and it is expressed in terms of grams per mole. So, let's understand with the help of example. The molar mass of water is equal to 18.015 grams per mole. This means one mole of water will be weighing equal to 18.015 grams. So, let's understand the conversions with the help of mole concept. First example, how many moles of sodium chloride are there in 5 grams of NaCl? So, what we have NaCl as a molecule and we have weight which is 5 grams and we need to calculate number of moles. So, 
First of all, we need to write the molar mass of NaCl, which is 58.44 grams per mole, which can be easily calculated by adding individual molar masses of sodium and chloride. So, to find the number of moles, we need to divide the mass by the molar mass. So, formula is number of moles will be always equal to mass divided by molar mass. So, what we have here? We have mass which is 5 gram and molar mass which is 58.448 grams per mole. So, let me put this, these values into the formula. Then we get number of moles equal to 5 grams divided by 58.44 grams per mole. And by solving, we get the value number of moles equal to 0 0.0855 moles. So, therefore, there are 0 0.0855 moles of NaCl in 5 grams of NaCl. So, by using moles concept, we can calculate number of moles. Now, let's understand with another example. How many grams of calcium carbonate are there in 2 moles of calcium carbonate? So, it is little bit different from our previous example. So, here we have number of moles and we need to calculate number of grams in 2 moles. So, first thing what we will do, we will write molar mass of calcium carbonate. So, which is equal to 100.09 grams per mole. To find the mass, again we have to use the same formula. So, the formula was number of moles equal to mass divided by molar mass. But here, what we need to calculate? We need to calculate mass. So, our formula becomes mass equal to number of moles into molar mass. So, let's put the values. Mass equal to 2 moles multiplied by 100.09 grams per mole which is molar mass and we get mass equal to 200.18 gram. So, therefore, there are 200.18 grams of calcium carbonate in 2 moles of calcium carbonate. So, what is the conclusion? So, by using mole concept, we can convert between the mass of a substance and the number of moles and vice versa. It's a fundamental concept that is used in stoichiometry and chemical reactions. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment and subscribe.